Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into note-taking and personal knowledge management apps that have whiteboards inside of them or some sort of whiteboard functionality. So this is good for brainstorming, for coming up with different ideas and seeing things visually. The first app we are going to talk about is Craft and Craft is originally a note-taking or document application but they recently added whiteboards which you can access by writing backslash whiteboard uh, and you can double click on the whiteboard to open it in a full screen we can add shapes in here like this you can add dashes uh, circles uh, cloud there are a bunch of shapes here to choose from you can choose whether it not whether or not it should be sh uh, solid dashed or dotted we can write inside of uh, these as well we have different uh, fonts to choose from we can add sticky notes on top of here as well we can make them uh we can make the writing inside of them small large or extra large and we can also choose the alignment inside of here we can draw with a pencil like this uh, we should be able to change the color as well so i can draw with a pencil right here uh, the pencil actually doesn't work like a connector, so when I start moving this, this doesn't move with it. So if we delete both of these, uh, let's see if I can do it like this, and instead we add what's called an arrow inside of here. This should now move together with our notes inside of here. You can also write in here just by starting to double clicking and starting to write or you can write as i said inside of the different uh, shapes you have in your whiteboard i actually like this not because it has uh, great functionality it is a whiteboard similar to a lot of the other whiteboard applications but i think it's beautifully designed i like the fonts i like how everything matches beautifully together and craft overall is a really beautifully designed application so this actually fits to the overall theme of the app the next app we are going to talk about is a fine or a fiend still don't know how to pronounce it i should probably ask someone anyways this is a little bit different so just as an example i will use this start with why the book by simon sinek i can change this to the edgeless view which is basically the mind map view we have some of the same functionality as well i can add shapes i can add text i can add images here as well i can turn this into a presentation i can add a frame like this and if i then add multiple things in the frame when i move the whole frame everything inside moves with it i can add new notes here so i can drag a note in here and we will call this test note and this has backslash functionality as well so i can add different things here uh, i can link to new documents i can uh, put images links files uh, embed things inside of here i can even add a kanban board in here as well uh, so there are multiple different things you can do inside of this uh, inside of this application we have drawing functionalities here as well uh, again same as uh, with craft you have to use the connectors if you want everything to move uh, with when you move a note that the arrow moves as well you actually have to use the connector and not the pencil um, another thing uh, we have inside of here is templates this offers a bunch of really fun templates you can add uh, right here so everything from brainstorming marketing and even presentations as i said we have a presentation mode inside of here as well I will now zoom back out so you can see everything uh, so this is a little bit different and you can also convert this into a page as well you can rename this or you can export it either to html or to markdown uh, but we can convert this to a page like this and it will show us the page right here so there is a bunch of functionality and the point this is still uh 
uh, in early days as well. I think it's still in a beta stage. Uh, it at least was a couple of weeks ago. But how this is supposed to work is that the notes you make inside of here uh, will also be able to be seen in the page. So if I toggle this in both and I jump back into the page, it should appear right here as well. So all of the things that you make inside of a whiteboard will appear inside of your page as well if you wanted to. That's a really neat feature that a lot of the other whiteboarding apps do not have the ability to quickly switch between a page mode or a whiteboard. So that's really cool about Affine and what's what makes it so special. Another one that has um, these whiteboarding features are actually Obsidian where you can create new canvases and here you can add uh, different notes uh, from your uh, from your uh, files or inside of your obsidian you can add sticky notes right here to keep on writing so these are sticky notes you can change the color of this and you can change the color of this as well you can add files inside of here again from your um, obsidian vault so what's good about this is that i can actually drag things into my uh into my whiteboard from my obsidian so i can keep on dragging things in here and using it uh, as a place for me to uh, actually um, put together a lot of the notes i have so let's say i had a lot of notes here a mind map i can create a new one uh, and i can give this script youtube video so call this script YouTube video. This is also how you would create new notes inside of your whiteboards. And I can actually write out my whole script while I look at my uh, look at my different uh, notes that I have right here. We can easily zoom in and out of here. Uh, and we have uh, the ability to remove the snap grid, add it, uh, snap to object. So you have a little bit of... Uh, customization inside of this as well uh, so that's obsidian canvas and you can turn this into read only and you can even press zoom to fit so you can see everything perfectly this is also a really cool feature what's best about this and what i really like about this is the ability to just drag your notes into here which is a great thing to have so you can have a bunch of notes and you can add sticky notes on top and build yourself a whole mind map inside of here so we have a couple more the first one uh, i'm going or next one i'm going to talk about is actually called uh, logsec and this is an outliner application uh, that also has whiteboards and I really like the whiteboards inside of this application so we can add new things quite easily pressing the plus it says add block to a page we can create a new block or we can use the blocks we already have so I will call this test and both obsidian and logsex saves everything uh, on your uh, device locally uh, we can also change the colors which is a feature i do like we can add custom colors as well inside of here we have the connector as well so we can connect to different notes so i could connect another note right here so this will be test note number two and we can connect different notes together inside of this app uh, so that is also a cool uh, feature that many other uh, applications do have i like the idea of being able to connect our different notes together uh, you can add text right inside of here so i could just add text i can i have an eraser and a way to highlight so if i wanted to highlight this and i could go back and i could erase this as well uh, and I could draw inside of here as well. Again, with the other app, just like with the other applications, if you draw and you move things, it won't 
uh, move this as well. So you will have to use the connector. This also, just like Obsidian, uses the blocks you already have or the notes you already have inside of your uh, log sec. Uh, I don't have anything inside of mine since I do not like to do outlines. That's why I need to create new ones. But as you can see, you can search your graph to find things. Just like with Obsidian, it is great, uh, a great way to actually build a mind map and have bring on all of the notes that you think are relevant on this project from your workspace. So another great one, but this is an outliner application. So just remember that when you are trying to choose which app you are going to use. The next one is called Heptabase, and this is a little different because this is one of the more visual note-taking apps. So the whole thing is centered around these cards on a canvas. Uh, so not the same whiteboarding features uh, as many of the other applications, but it is still a whiteboard. You don't get the ability to draw uh, or add text, but you can actually connect things using connectors right here. And you can also toggle this on to show backlinks and how things are linked together with backlinks. This has the added benefit of having uh, databases as a part of uh, their cards as well and this is just overall a more visual approach to note-taking. I know that things like Obsidian can have databases as well uh, but I wanted to mention this because databases are a part of how you organize inside of this app using the super tags but this is as I said, a more visual approach. You can easily add new cards into your uh, different whiteboards as well. And you can uh, actually add, uh, add things from your journal page as well, because this has a journal page. So you can write things down here and you can add them on top of your whiteboard. And as I showed you, you can also open the full card library and add different things inside of here as well. The last app we are going to talk about is actually a project manager that a lot of people use as their second brain. And this is ClickUp. ClickUp is probably not the best note taker on this list, but it has whiteboarding features. So we can add our whiteboard right here and uh, it offers you a bunch of different templates. I will not use any of them right now but we can add our ClickUp items inside of here. We have the ability to draw in here as well. Uh, and we can add shapes just like in many of the other ones. We can add sticky notes. We can add text right on top of here. Uh, and we can also add connectors between objects. As I said, just like all of the other apps, you can draw lines as well, but um, connectors when you use connectors when i move one thing it moves the other thing as well we can also add a full-on mind map inside of here uh, so mind map and we can go on adding different things to our mind map which is uh, another cool feature uh, ClickUp is known for having everything. So every uh, feature you would like, this application probably has it, which is both good and bad. Uh, as I said, we have templates and you can also upload images here as well. You can use your docs from your ClickUp. Uh, this doesn't look as good as I want it to, but you can do it. So you can add different documents from your uh, ClickUp docs. Uh, you can add ClickUp tasks in here as well. Uh, so this is an urgent task. I have to take out the trash. I can add this inside of here as well. Uh, and I can also actually add Figma, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, and YouTube. So here you have the Figma one. You can add Google Docs in here as well, Google Sheets, Google Slides, and so on. 
uh, and you can easily paste the URL to get it inside of here. I actually don't use any of these or I use Figma for work, but I can't show you any of that. So I will not test this right now. Uh, so uh, ClickUp offers a little bit of everything in their whiteboards. Just That's just how ClickUp works. They offer everything. Uh, that is ClickUp for you and that covers all of the different uh, productivity note-taking apps uh, that has a whiteboard functionality in them. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.